All right, thanks for joining us on another episode of Guardian Approved today. Today we're going to do a product review of the world's smallest uh, fire rated electric strike. So this is the Trine um, part numbers right here in the box. It's a 323478F-LC kit. So this is Trine's um, one of the most versatile strikes and the smallest strike actually in, in the whole market, not just their, their smallest strike, but in general, it's the smallest strike. So uh, before we get into reviewing this product real quick, you can see a little comparisons with some of the other strikes that you see. So right here, you have, I have some of the most common or a few uh, varieties of electric strikes. We have a surface mount electric strike used for like rim devices and panty bars. Uh, we have a, uh, a CS450 electric strike, which is pretty much the same thing as like a HES 5000, has the same footprint, it's just Lochnetics brand versus HES brand. And anybody that's in the trade or in access control knows that the HES 5000 is pretty much like the standard in the industry that everybody uses for everything. So um, we open up this real quick, we'll open up this Lochnetics one. The, the HES one's about the same, but if you look at the size of this guy, this what feels like it weighs a good pound for sure. Um, this is the standard size electric strike that goes in frame, something like this frame right here, this hollow metal frame right here. So it fit like where an ANSI strike plate would fit. Now, the good thing about this product compared to these, we'll go ahead and open it up right now, is this is how big the strike is. You know how tiny that is compared to a standard in frame strike. So. Uh, especially in wood applications, out of all applications, this would be by far way easier than chiseling out all this wood to get this inside of a wood frame. So now that you've seen kind of a, a other size of electric strikes, this is probably half a pound, this is a, probably a pound. So let's push those out of the way here. Now, what makes this guy special? What's so good about it? What's some of the specs on it? Well, let's go ahead and cover all that for you right now. So this right here is, uh, like I said, the world's smallest electric strike. It retails for about $270. Uh, it's good for 1.5 million cycles. So that's a really good life uh, lifespan. It's grade one fire rated for three hours. So you could use it in schools or hospitals where fire rated hardware is required. Um, it comes with this small standard faceplate right here, as well as an extended lip faceplate. You just remove these two screws pop it off, pop this one on, and gives you an extended lip face plate. And it also has the standard ANSI straight uh, plate that goes with it. So you take that off and put that on. So when you're trying to put it in a hollow metal frame like this, for the most part, very little cutting out. You just have to cut out a little notch here for this little piece right here in the back. And then boom, oh, it's it right where it needs to go. So <clears throat> it comes with a uh, uh, also some uh, shims in here, some two sixteenth of an inch shims, as well as, you know, your blue dolphins, your screw packs, things like that, and another shim here as well. Um, now, like I said, it's the world's smallest electric strike. It only has a one inch back set on it, you know, versus something like this. So it's much smaller. And uh, it'll work in aluminum, wood, steel frames, has a 1500 pound holding force. Also, it, and it's made of a solid st uh, stainless steel cast. It's a silent operation, although you can just wire in a buzzer with it if you want it not to be silent. So if you buy a freeway or something and you're buzzing people in, they're not gonna hear that little click. They're gonna, they're gonna need to have a buzzer wired in. So just wired in line like you would with any other strike so they can hear when they're being buzzed in. Um, it also has a, right here, this is a LC100. This is their power regulator. So usually this is built into the strike. But they said, well, you know, we can only get the strike so small with having this power reg regulator in there. Why don't we just make it independent? As long as you wire it in line with it, you're good. So this has to be within 15 feet of the strike. So you can tuck it away in the frame, you can put it above the ceiling. It doesn't matter as long as it's within 15 feet of the electric strike. Now, uh, it works 12 or 24 volts. Um, and, uh, and that's about it on, on all the features of it. So let's go ahead and uh, I want to show you this chart I have because if you're trying to find the right try and strike you're going to need to know well, what model do I need if I have this application which try and strike do I use you know, those kind of things so I, one of the trying reps came by and gave us one of these really cool charts right here so when he came by I, I believe I asked him if it was on their website as well I believe he said yes I'm not 100% sure on that but he came by and brought us this really cool 
uh, electric strike selector, selector. And what it does up here has the different types of lock sets, you know, a cylindrical lock, mortise, mortise with deadbolt, dead latch, vertical rod, exit device, rim device, has all the different applications. And then below the applications, it has a bunch of letters. If you look down here, you know, A through, you know, M or whatever it is. So let's talk about the strike that we're talking about, which is this one right here. It says the smallest electric strike in the world is now fire rated. So right here has the model number, it has the letter I below it. So if you look at that I, it's right over here underneath the cylindrical lock. So it's made for that application particularly. Now, uh, you can do that with any of these. So what if I have a you know vertical rod latch type? Well, G, so I need this one right here, a vertical rod latch uh, solution. Real, that's also a really cool strike. Maybe we'll do one on that later because it goes at the very top of the door right where the vertical rod is. So anyway, on the back of this guy, we have a cross reference. So we'll start with like this HES 5000, for instance. If you have a HES 5000, well, then you need the Trine 4200. That's their equivalent to that. And then on here, so this has all the HES models and the Trine models that correspond with it. Now over here, you have, you know, Trine, Adams Ride, Folger Adam, HES, RCI, Von Duprin, all these electric strikes, all their models, and what model is equivalent to the Trine model. So this is a really cool chart to have, very useful, especially in the field or whenever you're trying to quote projects and things like that. So we keep this up front by our counter. So it's a great, uh, great reference. Now, like I said, the point of this channel is to review a product for you, tell you the pros and cons, give it a rating and, and go from there. So um, I don't have anything negative to say about, about the Trine Electric Strike, except for that the power regulator is independent and has to be wired in line within 15 feet of the lock. But that's a two to three minute, five minute at max uh, um, to do that, to wire it in. So to me, that's not a negative. And matter of fact, I still think it's a positive because I can put that above the ceiling and it saves me the space in the frame. It doesn't matter to me. So I'm not gonna even mark it for a negative on that. But the positives are, you know, it's small, all the variable different frame options it'll fit into, the ANSI rating, the fire rating, three hour fire rating, uh, the extended lip face plates, the regular ANSI face plate, the regular one it comes with. It's very versatile and we haven't had any problems with these strikes. We've installed them multiple times. It's become one of our favorites, one of our go-tos. And if I was to review this one, I would give it five padlocks. So five out of five. So they hit a home run with this product. And if you're not using the Triumph products, you definitely should take a look at them and, and start using them. Like I said, it retails for $270. So uh, anybody that's in the field knows we get it cheaper than that. So. Um, very good. It's uh, to make money off it too. You can make you know decent money off the strike. So, and that's the name of the game. So, with that being said, we appreciate you tuning in as always. Thanks for the support. Don't forget we're on all the inst uh, all the social media platforms: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, uh, as well as other YouTube channels we have too. Besides Guardian Proof, we have Udropreneur and Guardian Safe and Lock, our main channel. So, thanks for tuning in as always, and we appreciate the support.